Let's play Return to Monkey Island. And we are in trouble with Madison pirate leaders because she doesn't let us to have uh, funds for trip to Monkey Island so we can find the secret of Monkey Island. Also, our dear Elaine have uh, problems too with the Madison and because she tried to get the, some kind of help for the pirates for the scurvy what they have so we have tried to find the sh ship and also the crew to get to monkey island and let's return to play the game Kyprus just ask us do we need some remind? What's the story? Let's try that for interest. Kind of, but remind me a little. Okay. I had come to Melee Island to start an expedition to find the secret of Monkey Island, but the obnoxious new pirate leaders there wouldn't back me. Yeah. It like I might have to steal a ship instead of hiring one. Hmm. Now, back to the story. So. The same thing what I just say. Okay, we just talk with the alien Elaine here and she left. And now we are at the corner of the real voodoo, the voodoo shop. Going out of business. Let's let's start to again to investigate our places here. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine. The best ever governor of Melee. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Yeah, this is the what the Elaine tried to do. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. Okay, let's let, let it be. Sketchy graffiti. It doesn't look finished. Okay. Oh, trivia card. Cha-ching! Probably get it here. What is the name of the first island Kuiper's visit in the secret of Monkey Island? Mealy Island. We are in that island, by the way. But what the hell is happening here? The voodoo, is, voodoo lady is going out of business. All right. Having a half off sale. Well, the voodoo here must be authentic, culturally and historically accurate. The sign says so. Going out of business? This place is an institution. Yeah. Let's go inside. The International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. Uh, let's not ask money from her because probably don't have. Hey, we have, we, we haven't seen in years. You mean fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago? Only you can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride, free will, not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Ooh. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. 
think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. Yeah, I'm very sure too. Destiny lies on the docks. Which docks? Is the Lechak ship? I don't know. But yeah, the book is the hint book. How do I get my own ship and crew? Never mind. We don't want to look now. Just start it. Okay, read the sign. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh. This was my favorite novelty store. <laughs> we never able to go inside. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Well, we basically we able to go inside, but we all, always teleport somewhere out. Looks like Wally's got a new place in Melee. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. Mm. The Wally is the who make the maps. I don't remember what's the English names for that. Oh, I know it, but I don't know how to say that. Anyway, the person who make the maps. And it was in the part two, I think. Yeah. And we steal the monocle. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Okay. Wally! This place Again. has kind of gone downhill. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. Yeah. What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? Oh, yeah. That clock has been broken for decades now. Good to see more. Ah, oh, this is the, the store. And we, who sees? Let's look this first. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. <laughs> Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. The note says, forced yeah, to close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Okay, who are you? Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Nice to know that. Okay, the church memories. Uh, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Yeah. A little bit broken. Let's explore the alley. Okay, trivia card. Do we know anything? On Bare Bones Island, what advice does Murik have for Kuipers? Oh my god, I don't remember this. Murray. Murray is the the skull. Jesus Christ, I don't remember. Take up knitting. Teach basket weaving to clams. Train potato potato box to do tricks. Take up knitting. How I know that? <laughs> I, I really don't know. That was luck. <laughs> Good thing. Okay, nice. And do we have anything else here? The door? It seems to be stuck closed. At the part two, at the end, we we go this from this door. I remember to the, the basement or the sewers where we fight against the lead shock Aww, ah, yeah. I 
risked my neck for a link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the okay, windows need trivia support. card. Trivia card. Where in Mealy Town can you see a cat? I don't, I don't really don't know that. I don't remember to see any cats. And Carla's election poster at the docks. Hiding in flower bed. I don't see the flower bed in the front of the mansion. Above the shop on high street. There's one possible. Ah, no, wrong. Looks sort of like an eye. Yeah, yeah, it's look like. I think it's a chandelier. A visitor. <laughs> Wait, Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> Otis. Otis. And Stan. What do you do here? You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look... Yeah, he was, oh, yeah. Uh, new art style? How oh, nice of you to notice. <laughs> I really don't want to know why. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance yeah. being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what mm. crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? <laughs> Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic! You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time. And I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. Yeah. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like... Sell doors? Imagine that. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here! It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks! Yeah, of course you want to get out and help from us. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp. Without the clean parts. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Yeah. Okay, only one. No escaping. Good. Talk to Stan. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Oh, well, sorry to see you in jail. Sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping to buy sh ship for you. The good thing we doesn't go to the docks to buy the ship for me because he's out here now. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe oh. me, I feel worse about it than you do. <laughs> Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart. You'd go to a competitor? Where's your loyalty, son? 
Well, seeing as you're in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought... It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. <laughs> okay, let's get a ship from you after you're out of jail. Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Okay, how how I can steal the ship? Someone else. Of Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. Mutiny. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike. If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I know. Give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. I know. I know what to do. We go to the lead shot ship and we get the mutiny okay well mm. thanks i guess anything yeah. i can do to help you let me know as long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship okay. what did you do that got you arrested let me tell you something son it's not what a man does that matters it's who he is Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. Mm -hmm. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Well, he's a little bit scammer. But... He go in the fine line of that. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. <laughs> Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Okay. That is smart. Okay. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. Yeah, thanks. Well, is there anything else? else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. All right, let's do that. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's... advice. Okay. See you later. Yep. You are not able to get anything from him. But we only can give him something. He wants a toothbrush. And he wants to get out. He wants a key from the key maker. And he doesn't give me anything. 
I don't know why I let him. Because he's a cool guy. That's nice. Yeah. Those are both are like a scammers. So let's see the locksmith, the keymaker. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Hi. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Yeah. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Something telling us that her mother is dead, probably. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. Oh, she's a bold. Okay. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Mm -hmm. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Oh. What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. What's this lock? That's for hats. Okay, let's talk with her. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a failsafe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. Ah. But usually the locksmiths be able to copy the key. If they just see the key, they know the, the serial numbers. You know, they know how the, the key look like and some way they know that, oh, it's like this key and they can make the key when they just see that key. That is very good talent to do. I have to be very professional about those. But that is real thing. They can able to see that when they can make the key, if they just can see it. There was some ones that happened, I go to the locksmith and he just looked the key and like make the notes and he like, okay, come later. Like in one hour and he's done it. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Okay, we have to go to the jail to, to see the, the serial, serial number of the lock so she can make the lock to us but i think the first now the now the problem or the first problem or second problem is that how we pay we don't have anything well what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made the numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them only a pro would have a tool like that oh <laughs> Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Okay. Not, not again, not again. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. 
well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew <laughs> actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. All right, we try that. Let's try this once again for fun. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock. I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. I see. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Okay, thank you. What else? What is that? What is that? It's definitely not a key or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. So it doesn't have anything else here. Just looking around and try to find out what our our next move. Well, we have to go to the stands, the shipping dock to get the toothbrush. I think that is the one place. But let's explore and see that is there anything thing or anything other things we what we can find here. There's the mansion here, of course. No dogs. Carla. Ah, oh, Carla. Guy brush three wood. Carla. She is the sword master. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. There's one. But you're cooking. Ha! <laughs> Low hanging fruit. But it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Elaine said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so and so, Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I'll be needing it. Okay. You interested? Ha! <laughs> I'd rather swallow a live badger than crew with you again. No offense intended. So unlikely, but still possible? No. You want a crew, go down to the docks and hire one. Hmm. She was at the last time. But don't have any help. Hmm. <laughs> Probably don't have any help from the government, but let's try. Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh gosh, you're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey no. Island or don't you? Uh. 
Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. Yeah. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy <laughs> these days. Governor stuff. <laughs> okay. Hey, there's Karth. Let's see. Can we notice? What book does not exist in the island library? God. I think this one. Ah! God damn it. Hey, what's he looking at? That's a lot of work being governor. Oh. I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. All right, let's take that. Thank you. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> let's poke it. Oh, that's nice. Poke more. Poke more. Poke. Over here. Oh, doesn't have much. Go back here. What they have here. I never go there before. I'm not able to go. Ah, oh, this is shortcut. I really like to talk with the old lady. High Street. Go there. Boy, my dog come here. Hello. How you doing? My husky friend. How you my friend? <laughs> now you can go. <laughs> He wants scratch. He was sleeping. We'd be outside. Long time. Oh, he come to say hello. What the old lady say? Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. She is the mother of the locksmith. There's the cat. You're still there. I probably have to go to play with him now. Or to walk him. Maybe... That's why he comes to see us. So... I go to walk... Kake. And... Yeah, it's your name. Yeah. So, next time, go to Stan's uh, shipyard. <laughs>